Alrighty guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Mart's Weld Shop. Here we are back on the old S10. You know, I wasn't really planning on making a video of any of this, but uh, I down there took the front wheels off for the first time since I owned this truck. Yeah, weird, right? I haven't had time, been doing other things, okay? So, my old turd-like shop here. Every spring, the ground does its thing here in Wisconsin, where it's like warming up out there, but the concrete's cold, and this is an old floor, and it likes to do its sweating because it's not like new concrete with the insulation and plastic under there, you know? It's just concrete from the olden days way back when way back when so anyway what it does is wreaks havoc on everything that's in here and it makes everything rust so this thing was sitting in the other guy's garage for like two or three years i don't know s10 can nice dry garage you know gets in here and immediately we get like the surface rust thing going on. So my brakes, guys, the brakes all had like a rust on them. So I done their, uh, I pulled them off to paint them. I just I didn't really care what it looked like. I just wanted some paint on there so it wasn't rust color. Because I don't like it. I ain't going to have it. Not here. Not in my shop. That's what I'm talking about. So, then it comes to find out here that these, uh, these here Beltec Spindelosios here <clears throat> are kind of like a, they're kind of like a F body, like a Camaro or something. Because normally this is part of the spindle with the uh, bearings and you got to grease it and put the nut on, all one piece disc type thing well these are nice because the disc comes off and these are bolted on like a like a hub assembly so that's pretty cool but i went on the website punched these numbers in that are stamped on here it says no results imagine that it says beltec right in the back i don't know i don't get it yeah so i just put a little paint on guys like this one here no, I didn't paint the rotor. There's still tape on it. But I painted the edge, see? I painted the edge and the face. Because it gets rusty. And I hate rust. I do. Sorry. So I'm going to pull all this crap off. And I got the calipers and the caliper brackets over there on the floor. And some hanging over there. Around the corner. Or around the corner all right so we're gonna slam this back together real not real up uh, yeah real nice real quick we're gonna slam it together quick then i'm gonna go in the house okay that's what i'm doing Alrighty, guys and gals, we got that kind of slammed back together here. You know, just standard black. That's what I have. That's what I'm using. So, got them back on there. Looking more decent than rusty metal color. So... As I'm uh, whipping this back together, I notice, because how can you not notice? You know, when the, uh, see this here? This little metal clip right there? 
That's the little buffer apparatus that stops the pad from going waka 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 in the caliper bracket. So I only got one of those clips in there. And I need like eight. So, well, actually I got two. One pad. One pad's worth. So three pads. Need two more each. So I'm going to have to locate a hardware kit of some sort from somewhere. Maybe the, one of the little help sections at the Auto Riley's or All Car. Remember All Car from back in the day, guys? A lot of you new fellers probably don't remember All Car. Maybe it was a Wisconsin thing. Wisconsin. Or Champion Auto. We used to have a cool section with all the chrome crap, tax and it broken stuff all over the wall, intakes and things. It cool stuff back in the day. Wisconsin doesn't have any cool shops like that anymore. No, unless you go to like a race car shop. That's like oval track stuff up here. But uh, yeah, that's where we are with that. Wisconsin's come back apart again. But, no, I figured I'd film it, I guess. I took it apart last night. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be mad because I didn't do anything, you know. So, there's that. And uh, he had this here, part of the arm, butchered off here for some reason. These are brand new arms. So, I'm not sure what these arms are from. I hear that G-Bodies... You know, the old G-Body Shuffle Malibus and Cutlasses from the old 78s to, I don't know, 87-ish, 88 Monte Carlos, Monte Carlos. Um, I don't know if that's what this is. I don't know if they had to shave some of this off here and on the other side. But, like I said earlier, these spindles, I don't know, maybe it's an upgrade or something, but it seems Camaro-ish to me. I don't know if there's a Camaro to S10 upgrade kit you can get but maybe this is the whole scenario here i don't know i like this setup better seems like these uh these brakes are bigger so but they're gonna have to come apart i gotta find a hardware kit and i gotta get some hoses and i gotta get the tubes for the front and my line lock still didn't show up yet i don't know what's going on it's lost. Lost in China somewhere. Yeah, China. That's where it comes from, probably. I'd imagine. Everything else does. That's where y'all want it from. Right? Unless you want to build line locks here on an assembly line somewhere all day long. It'd be a great job. Just it's like a fire truck factory. Just one after the other. Just boom. Out the door. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling at this point. But anyways, so that's where we are with that. Got those on. Uh, that one's on over there. Same scenario. And uh, yeah, we got to get going on this LS engine. I'm trying to locate parts off the face place. It's like the prices are just like brand new prices. Come on, guys. It's, it's not brand new if you already own it. I mean, give a guy a deal, you know. You need an oil pan. Some guy's got an S10 oil pan for an LS. I go, hey, buddy, you want to sell that oil pan? He's like, yeah, I could, but I need one to put back on the motor. I'm like, all right, well. He's like, 600 bucks. I'm like, what? 600 bucks for an oil pan? Jeez. Is that titanium? Man, I got a Corvette one. I'm going to give him a Corvette pan plus 600 bucks. Come on, dude. I don't know. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments, you know, down there, wherever they go. My Moroso pan back in the day when LS has just started was like 300 bucks. And that's a, it's a big, it's like a seven quarter. Come on. 600 bucks. Come on, give me it whatever i don't know but s10 ken he had a 5.3 in this thing when i went to look at this truck and i was like i don't need the motor <laughs> yeah here i am back with an ls now 
So I should ask him if he knows. Ken, if you know, was that just a regular stock truck pan that I could use in there? Because that maybe it doesn't hit. Maybe I don't got to cut the cross member for that. Or maybe I got to buy one of these Holly Hummer oil pans. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. But uh, until the next little uh, clippy here, um, that's where we're at with this thing. Still waiting for some junk. Waiting about that rear end thing. I don't even know. It's just disgust me. That's why I'm moving on to something else. So um, until then, I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to see. You know, this. It's just another S10 video. I don't know what else you want from that. You know, so it is what it is. Like, subscribe, share with your buddies. You know, have some snacks. Enjoy the show. Enjoy my misery, my struggles, guys. Because this is, this is a real shop and what really happens in the real world. Real. Can I say real anymore? But this is no toad kill garage, you know, with Mike shenanigans and Burger Fry or whatever his name is, you know. I mean, this is the real deal and we ain't got just moolah coming out of our trees out back you know i didn't want to say trees but i wanted to say something else but that's what it is so anyways like and subscribe hit the dinger if it's there i don't know and we'll see you next time for another episode of mart's well shop